Hi there, it's Kevin from the Figure Owners Club. It's good to be with you. I uh, just wanted to talk to you today about um, possibly if you need to uh, remove your uh, wing mirror to replace it. Uh, if it's broken uh, like ours it is, so I'm just going to quickly show you what I'm talking around about. We've got uh, obviously a nasty uh, crack in the glass here. Um, now, um, there is a situation that um, some people are saying that they can replace the glass but actually we found it very very difficult to get the exact size so in our instance we've actually gone for a, a complete uh, replacement wing mirror that we've got off ebay and here it is here and uh, we got this for about uh, i think it was about 50 quid um so it's a complete replacement unit so i'm just going to go through how to do that because it is a little bit fiddly um to get to this um actually there's two two bolts here that need to be undone on the other side and to do that what we need to do is remove this uh, door card and uh, that's uh, a number of screws under here some screws here and importantly this top trim running along the top of the window here so we're just going to go through the processes involved and then once you've got this door card off you can then access the uh, the bolts that uh, hold the wing mirror on um, and also uh, one of the important things to, to talk about here is when you take this actually apart because I'm actually going to, have to remove the collar here, swap it over because mine's been re -chromed. This is quite a badly, uh, badly pitted uh, existing chrome um, collar on this one. So I'm going to take mine off uh, on bell. It's been re so you can see it's nice and shiny. I'm going to just show you how to do that as well. So uh, as I said, uh, quite an unusual situation with a, with a crack with a uh, wing mirror glass but it, it sometimes happens so uh, when things like this do happen it's uh, quite useful to to make a video on it so hopefully uh, uh, this will be of use to uh, people if uh, they need it okay move to the next one okay so I'm going to go through all the screws to remove we've got um, three here in the armrest there's a quite a big one here and these have got uh, little bungs in them like that and then obviously you're going to need to take this out as well because uh, the whole thing is required to be removed um, you've got um, three little tiny nylon plugs that go in here as well and uh, the four screws under the under the actual card so that's them all there uh, I also take the um, locking pin off just unscrews very very simple that's it there so once these are all off you can see the whole thing swings you see it swinging around in the bottom and the technique I'm, I'm kind of can't really hold the camera and do it at the same time but the technique is to swing it out and then pull it up towards you and it will come off over the top of here and, uh, and that's it so we'll take that off take this off next Okay, one of the things you need to do before you take the car door off is to take this external trim off. So this runs on the external part of the window and to do that you've got two little tiny screws in here. One at each end, there's one there and one just behind here. So we're going to take this off and uh, this will allow it to be removed a lot easier. Okay, one of the things you need to do before you take the card off is to drop the window and I'll show you why in a minute okay so the windows down the trims all been removed I'm gonna have a go and see if I can do this uh, here we go I need, just need to undo that <laughs> try and do this one-handed we need to poke this through there and we'll see and make sure this is clear here once this is clear as you can see ah Perfect. So that's the door card off. It's pretty easy to do and uh, gives us a good opportunity as well to inspect all this plastic um, shield that, that, that Nissan put on. Basically this is a, a, a seal that they stop stops the damp getting through to the, the car so uh, good opportunity to uh, repair any of this if it needs uh, repairing as well. So we'll go on to uh, taking the wing mirror. Uh, wing mirror off next okay so what we need to do now is to remove 
the actual wing mirror. Now, um, there really is only one way of doing this, uh, and it's using one of these types of spanners. I'm not 100% sure what these are called, but it needs to have a flip-flop top on it. <laughs> That's probably not the correct term. Uh, it's a 6mm uh, nut that you're looking to undo, so uh, it's currently looking at uh, a 10mm spanner. But it definitely needs to have this uh, action at the end of it, because you'll never get it in there. Um, it's very, very hard to explain, but you've got an angle here to work with, and it's really, really fiddly. Uh, obviously, once you get it, you know, once you get it undone, then you can actually do it by hand by going in and just obviously doing it with your with your fingers. But you will need one of these spanners. Uh, you're never going to get it off with a socket set because, um, well, not unless you've got a deep uh, one of these deep sockets. Right, mine's actually a little bit too short, but even then, it's quite fiddly to to get that in there. So anyway, that's the way I did it. So uh, taking it off now. Okay, so I've now got the actual. Um, wing mirror out as you can see that's the two nuts on the studs there and um, just looking from the other side obviously you've got the two holes where uh, the studs went through so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take it into the workshop and swap it over with the uh, with the broken one okay so in the workshop now I've got the um, the one I've bought which is the uh, the eBay one and this is the the one that I'm replacing which is the broken one um, interestingly enough the eBay one didn't come with a little uh, Nissan uh, rubber seal so I'm going to need that um, one of the things also when I put it back on I'm going to give the uh, the threads a little bit of WD-40 to allow me to hand tighten them up when they're uh, when they're in the car um, these actually do come out as well these uh, these studs but um, what I'm going to talk about now is the importance of what I'm going to do next because I want to change the stalks now um, some companies are, are offering re-chroming um, the Figaro shops one of them I think there's a, a few companies doing it now um, and they re-chrome um, parts of the car so you can actually get these um, these re-chromed as you can see here you've got a lot of corrosion on this it's obviously been left outside and over the years it's um, obviously uh, got quite bad so um, what tends to happen is these tend to go back and get um, treated and re-chromed which is, which is good really because they, they look like brand new so the idea is to to change the stalk here pop it onto the replacement one uh, now the important thing to to point out here is that there's a like a, a nut down there and you've got a, <laughs> a stud coming through this uh, mirror now the thing is if I put a a long um, a spanner down there, a socket set spanner down there, and undo it whilst it's uh, whilst it's down like that. Uh, what's going to happen is that uh, that stud's going to fall into the, the the mirror, and what that now means is you've got to take the glass out um, to get to it. So that's a really bad idea. So what you need to do when you're doing it is uh, I know it sounds a bit odd, but you need to uh, put the um, socket set up inside it, but keep it keep it up. Okay, so hold it like this, and then put the uh, put the socket set up. So basically, what you've got, you've got the uh, the little stud here dangling down. Um, whatever you do, don't turn it over, because if you <laughs> if if you turn it over, the what will happen is stud will fall inside the the mirror. So just a little good little tip there. So I'm not going to try and do it while I'm recording, because that's possibly what could happen. So I'm going to be very very careful with the next stage. Uh, swap it over, and I'll do a video of when it's uh, when it's swapped swapped over okay next next bit okay so I've taken it apart you can see the structure you've got the nut inside then you've got this little collar which is obviously got a, a cylindrical end on it and that obviously swivels inside the collar here and that allows the the mirror to swivel around to adjust it uh, I'm holding the other side <laughs> we're holding it at the moment and you can see the uh, the stud sticking out now as I said, if I let go of this or turn it, this stud will fall inside. So it's a really, really bad idea. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the camera down, and I'm going to put some masking tape around it to make sure I don't, it doesn't disappear. You can see the collar inside, but this is, uh, you just have to trust me, I'm not going to touch it, but if I pushed it inside, it would just fall inside the mirror. So there we go, it's a good little tip, and uh, I'm just going to swap it over. So to do this, I need an 8mm socket set. 
Um, and what I tend to do is push that down the side there so it fits, and then obviously put the socket on it, and away you go. This will undo, and then as I said, make sure you tip it up. Don't drop it, otherwise you're going to lose the nut. Okay, so I managed to do that okay with the help of the uh, the other half. So uh, what was happening, Sue was holding this up. And um, what I was doing is uh, all I had to do was put the nut in here along with this piece just balanced on top. And then obviously with the nut you slide that up inside the collar and just keep turning and turning and turning until it bites. And then you've got... Um, the thread is working and then you can take that out and tighten it up so there we go so all done all screwed in and uh, yeah it looks good let's give it a clean up and uh, put the um, put this on as well and put the rubber the, uh, the rubber seal back on and uh, put it back on the car so two mirrors back on the car and the best thing to do is to try and tighten these as best you can with your with your fingers um, by pushing the mirror in and getting it as tight as you can and then the rest is going to be with the spanner and then we'll uh, what we're going to do is sort out put some new tape on here i've got some tape for this so we'll retape this um it's a little manky actually some of this has obviously been done before so i'm going to put some new tape in here and um, put the uh, put the put the card back on and that should be about it right so i've uh, just put some uh, double-sided tape around here completely sealed the uh, the door now so that's all good it's a lot nicer now it's always good to do uh, repairs obviously if you see something wrong with the car uh, might have been taken apart before and not been put back together very well so yeah. good opportunity to uh, to, to do that um, there we go so the next part is it's gonna clean the actual door card so whilst I've got it on give it a little bit of a clean and then uh, pop it back on the car okay next part so all done all in place wing mirror on and the door card is all back in place it went on fairly easy um, just the reverse of obviously taking it off um, so I uh, hope you've enjoyed the video as I said, uh, don't forget the wing mirror. If you take it off, make sure that you keep it upright. Don't tilt it, otherwise that bolt will fall inside and uh, ooh, you'll have to take all the glass out. It'll be a nightmare. So I uh, hope this has been useful. If you've got a crack mirror, how to replace it. Uh, as I said, I've got mine off eBay, so uh, probably the best place to go for a replacement mirror altogether. Okay, see you again soon. Cheers. Bye. Bye. Hey, bye.